The next two that we bring in here is going to be our spot guilds, lot five and lot six, 31-9 and 31-10. Uh, these would be sired by the answer back on a speak up female. Uh, the answer uh, would be a speak up emancipation that we raised here. Emancipation would have been a guilt at one expo uh, a few years ago that the Gross family showed and uh, that one came from Jarrett Mays, and, and we've been really happy with the, the answer females now, too, once we started farrowing these things. Uh, we definitely tried to hold some gilts back through the fall and uh, some of our older ones. So these would be the two out of this litter that we have to offer. Uh, I think both of them are, are very, very good, high quality, um, you know, for show gilts and then also to keep back and, and put in your herd for sows. Uh, I think both of them have a lot of really good things to offer. Yeah, a little bit different in, different in type and kind. Uh, the Dash 10, mostly white one right there. I think she's a little bit more moderate, probably a little bit stouter featured. Uh, big body, big backed. I think you can uh, push her uh, throughout the summer, and I think she she lasts until the fall. The other one's probably the little bit longer bodied, bigger framed one that's a nickel better looking, but still gets out and goes and has plenty of power. Uh, I think you gotta pick which one you like. Yeah, I think, and both of these two, just the way that their hip design is and, and the way that they flex their hawk and, and their rear leg, I think is so good, uh, especially in the spot breed. How, you know, some of them will want to get a little postier and uh, just the way they're designed, I think they just got a little more set to their hawk and a, a good bendy back leg that uh, that are fun to feed throughout the summer and gonna last into a heavier, heavier weight type of guilt, so. Again, this is lot five and six, spot gilts, uh, the answer, speak up.